Understanding the brain, according to Mar, 1982, understanding an information processing system has three levels. It's called the layers of uh, analysis. One computational theory corresponds to the goal of computation and an abstract definition of the task. Two, representation and algorithm. An algorithm is about how the input and the output are represented and about the specific uh, occasion of uh, the algorithm for the transformation from the input to the output. Three, uh, hardware implementation is the actual physical realization of the system. One example is sorting. The computational theory is to order a given set of elements. The representation may use integers, and the algorithm may be quicksort. After a compilation, the executable code for a particular processor sorting integers represented in binary is one hardware implementation. The idea is that for the same computational theory, there may be multiple representations and algorithms manipulating symbols in that representation. Similarly, for any given representation and algorithm, there may be multiple hardware implementations. We can use one of various sorting algorithms, and even the same algorithm can be compiled on computers with different processors and lead to different hardware implementations. To take another example, 6, uh, the Romain symbol 6 and the 110 are three different representations of the number 6. There is a different algorithm for additional, addi uh, addition depending on the representation used. Digital computers use binary representation and have a secure tree to add in this representation, which is one particular hardware implementation. Numbers are represented differently, and addition corresponds to a different set of instructions on an abacus, which is another hardware implementation. And when we add two numbers in our head, we use another representation and an algorithm suitable to that representation, which is implemented by the neurons. But all these different hardware implementations, for example, us, abacus, digital computer, implement the same computational theory addition. Uh, the classic example is the difference between natural and artificial flying machines. A sparrow flaps its wings. A commercial airplane does not flag, flap its wings, but uses jet engines. The sparrow and the airplane are two hardware implementations built for different purposes satisfying different constraints, but they both implement the same theory which is aerodynamics. The brain is one hardware implementation for learning or pattern recognition. If, from this particular implementation, we can do reverse engineering and extract the representation and the algorithm used, and if from that in turn we can get the computational theory, we can then use another representation and algorithm, and in turn a hardware implementation more suited to the means and the constraints we have one hopes our implementation will be cheaper, faster, and more accurate. Just as uh, the initial attempts to build flying machines looked very much like birds until we discovered aerodynamics, it is also expected that the first attempts to build structures possessing brain's abilities will look like the brain with networks of large numbers of uh, processing units until we discover the computational theory of intelligence. So it can be said that in understanding the brain, when we are working on artificial neural networks, we are at the representation and algorithm level. Just as the fe feathers are irrelevant to flying, the time in time we may discover that neurons and the synapses are irrelevant to intelligence. But until that time, there is one other reason why we are interested in understanding the functioning of the brain and that is related to parallel processing.